Hi, I'm Adam, the Garage Woodworker, and in this three part series, I'm going to show you how I built this Minosaur station with built in tool rack, dust collection, and this router table. Having to use a stop block every time I want to make repeated cuts to the miter saw is one of the main reasons for building the miter saw station. But the other reason is having to always try and find something to prop up the other end to keep the wood flat whenever I want to make a cut. Making a miter saw station is going to eliminate that need to prop up the end of the length of wood. To build the framing for the miter saw station, I'm going to use pocket holes. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I've put the pocket hole jig the distance it needs to be from the end of the timber. And then I'm going to hot glue on the clamp so that every time I put the clamp up against the end of the piece of timber, the pocket hole is going to start at the same distance every time. Now I'm always just getting one of these Japanese pull saws. As you can see, one side of the pull saw has coarse teeth, and the other side has fine teeth. And the reason why there's the two different teeth is the coarse side is for rip cuts, and the fine teeth are for cross cuts. Now, this is a perfect example of using this saw. So to cut this notch out, I need to do a rip cut and a cross cut.
using power tools, I, I like to uh, tie the two cords in a knot, plug it in. That way, if the cord gets caught on anything, it won't pull the tool out when you're halfway through a cut. To attach the shelf for the miter saw, I just put two screws in each corner. Okay, now to line up the saw, what I've done is I've clamped a straight piece of board to this fence. I've then lined up the saw along that fence. Now, the saw is a little bit too low, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a couple of washers underneath each foot of the saw before I put the screw in, just to lift it up that little bit to make it even. So that concludes part one of the minor saw station. Next time I'm going to show you how I built the router lift. Now you may be wondering why there's so much overhang with the MDF on top. And that is because I'm going to put cabinetry on, which is going to match the cabinetry that I'm also going to put on my tape or oh, my workbench. There's also going to be cabinetry put up the top here as well. So all this tool storage will also be hidden. This tool storage and the miter saw fence and also dust collection will all be covered in a future video as well. If you liked my video, please consider subscribing, maybe hitting that like button. Also, let me know down in the comments what you thought of my video and editing skills. I am very new to this and I'm still trying to find my style.